Okay, so do you want to excel in algebra? I'm assuming the obvious answer is yes. Of course, you're watching this video and you would be like, yeah, I'm not uh, watching this video, waste my time. I wanna know what should I do? Uh, you're telling me to do this, that, and the other thing. Well, I am going to give you some extremely valuable tips to be successful, uh, not only in algebra, but in other uh, areas of mathematics as well. But I'll tell you right now, if your answer is, no, I don't really care about excelling in algebra, I just want, you know, I just want to pass. I want the bare minimum. Maybe that's a 70%. Maybe uh, that is a C minus minus. As long as you pass the course, you're like, nah, that's what I uh, care about. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if that's what you're thinking, it never works out that way. And so instead of getting a 70%, those students will end up with like a 69%. Instead of getting a C minus minus, you'll get a T plus plus. And of course, these are not passing grades. You never want to cut it close when it comes to uh, academics. So in algebra or anything you're studying, if you're going to learn it, you know what? You should try to learn it well. And I'm going to give you some super valuable um, things here. Uh, that you need to be doing in order to excel in algebra. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. So everything I tell you in this um, uh, little video here comes from a ton of experience. It's valuable information, so stick around uh, in that. But um, one of the most important things you need to be successful in mathematics is great math instruction, clear, understandable, comprehensive, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level in terms of math, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out. Also, if you are preparing for some sort of test, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification, anything with like a dedicated, dedicated math section on it, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have award-winning uh, middle and high school mathematics courses for homeschoolers, so you might want to check that out if you homeschool. Hopefully you have a pair of great math notes. If you don't, I'm gonna leave links to my notes in the description of this video. We'll talk more about notes here in a second. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps me out big time. Okay, so let's get into this. What do you need to be doing to get an A plus or to excel in your algebra course? So let's kind of start off here with the goal of getting an A plus. Now, this is kind of universal common sense uh, stuff that applies not only, you know, this can apply uh, into certainly other math courses uh, and even other academics, but these are things that a lot of students do not do, okay? So I want to make sure that you are doing these so you could take a quick inventory, you know, by watching this video and then, you know, uh, correct what you need to correct. Okay, so the first thing, okay, that a student needs to kind of be doing in order to be getting an A plus to excel in algebra or any other math is first you have a, you have to have a great mental attitude. Okay, you need to have like a goal, right? So in other words, you have to first say to yourself, "All right, um, I can do this. My goal is to get an A plus. I want to do well in this course." Your attitude is everything. Okay, if your attitude is like, eh, "I don't really care." Uh, as long as I pass, da, 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 you're never going to just like get lucky and end up with an A plus in algebra, okay, or any other math course at that. So you have to first want to do well, okay? That's the first thing. That's a goal. And then you have to be able to believe that, in fact, you can do it, all right? And I'm telling you right now, all of you, if you've been struggling in algebra or any other math uh, course, if you're in a, a different math course, that you can do this, okay? But it's going to require work. And that brings us to our next uh, little topic here, and that is work, all right? You cannot be afraid to work um, if you expect to do well in anything. Now, what, what's the work that we're talking about here? Well, you have to have a good work ethic, okay, to do what? Well, to take notes, to do the homework, to study for tests, all that stuff. Again, if you're not going to do the work, you're going to be like, no, no, I got a photographic memory. I just know this stuff because I'm super good at math naturally. Don't fool yourself, okay? You got to do, you got to put in the work to get, you know, something good back in return, all right? So you need a good work ethic to get an A in algebra. All right, so now let's get into what type of things, what kind of work you need to be doing. Well, one of the probably most important things that you need to be doing on a daily 
um, level, okay, when you're studying mathematics, is note taking. Okay, you should have awesome notes. Your your math notes should be like so good that your friend or anybody else can just pick up your notes and learn from them. Okay, if your notes are not that detailed um, and clear and organized, then you need to improve them. Okay, so if you want to know what good looks, uh, good notes look like. Uh, check out some of my uh, math notes by you could again go to the um, go to my notes by following the links in the description of this video but those will kind of give you a sense of what excellent math notes look like this is a skill this is something you need to really work hard at it but you need to use your notes as reference okay write everything down the teacher's saying very very important okay now on top of uh, uh, note taking is doing your homework, okay, in an algebra course or any other math course. Now, when I talk about uh, homework, I mean all the homework, all of it, okay. So let's talk about what it uh, looks like to do the work in a math class. Well, do the homework, okay. Your teacher gives you the homework prompts because they want to give you the uh, particular variety of prompts. I would say, at least in my experience as a math teacher probably 70% or better of the test questions that you're going, to, you're going to be facing are going to come from the homework and definitely uh, what your teacher is having you write down in your notes. So if you uh, understand the problems that your teacher is going over, okay, that would include the homework as well, you're going to be really, really prepared for the test. So you're kind of preparing for the test in advance, okay? So another thing with the homework is uh, you got to show your steps. you got to have... Um, high quality work okay and that kind of brings me to my next step and we'll kind of put this over here as its own little thing and that is being neat and organized okay neat and organized and actually i'm going to break this down into an additional step here in a second but obviously you want to be neat with your notes but you want to be neat with what uh, how you do math okay when you do a math problem you want to be nice neat organized and you want to break things down in all their individual steps you need to be highly organized matter of fact i'm going to make this its own little separate line item and that is to show all work okay or show all steps we'll leave it like this you want to show all your steps so when your teacher is grading your uh, work, they're like, okay, you know that, you know this, you know this. Oh, you made a little error there, but because you're showing me so much good stuff, I'm going to give you a 7 out of 10 for this particular question. They're going to give you partial credit. If they, if your work is sloppy and you're like, here is my wrong answer, you're going to get like a 1 out of 10. Okay, this is the quickest way to get a C or fail a math course. So... Um, it's critical. It, don't even think of it as optional for you to show your work, to show your steps. But the only way you're going to get good at this is to write down in your notes how your teacher is showing you and to practice that in your homework. And that's uh, you're going to the way you're doing your homework is the way you're going to do problems on your uh, quizzes and your test. OK, so that's why you really want to put in the effort to do well in your homework. And again, you're over our chain management of your course, you need to be neat and organized. And this is difficult for a lot of students. It was difficult for me. That's why you have to work at this. Okay. It's not going to be easy for a lot of students out there. Okay. So let's uh, take a look at a couple other uh, major things. And the next thing is to ask questions, ask questions. All right. So when you don't understand something, raise your hand. Okay. If you have a teacher, if you, you know, if you're learning from a teacher, or if you're taking some other course and you have a teacher available and you don't understand something, raise your hand, get, ask questions. If you don't ask questions and if you don't look for extra help, then that's your fault. Okay. Don't assume it's going to like, mm, well, it might go away. It will not go away. So don't leave questions unanswered. Okay. That's a really, really important thing. Take advantage of your teacher. That's what they're there for, you know, like, hey, teacher, you know, how do you do this? What's that? I need help with this. I don't get that. So really, really important. Now, along with that, okay, hopefully your teacher has, uh, you know, let's just put this here. Hopefully you have a great, I'll put this right here, great math teacher. Okay. This is critical. Okay. This is one that maybe you can't control. Okay. Hopefully you have a great math teacher. Now, what's a great math teacher? Well, 
you know, just like anything else, uh, there's teachers, uh, math teachers, there's uh, beginning math teachers, there's teachers who have been teaching for, you know, uh, 30 years. And this is, you know, generally speaking, the longer a teacher has been teaching, the better they are going to be. But that doesn't mean that a new teacher can't be great as well. They got to be talented. They got to be motivated. They got to be excited about teaching you math. And they got to be able to break things down. And that's what a great math teacher is. You'll know because you'll be able to understand from them. You'll love to learn from them. If your teacher it's not communicating in a way that's really motivating you and they're just kind of going through the motions for you. Okay. Or if you're not understanding their teaching style, well, you need to go find a teacher, okay, to assist you, right? Maybe beyond your classroom. So that's like a program like mine. Let's say you're in algebra one and your teacher eh, is maybe like, you know, you're not really connecting with them. You're like, I don't really like the way they teach. They might be a good teacher, but maybe they're a good teacher for someone else. Maybe they're not be, they might not be the right teacher for you. So you're going to have to take the initiative to go get great math instruction. If you like my math instruction, I have a ton of stuff on my YouTube channel. You're going to love my math courses because they're way, way beyond what I do on YouTube. But you still need to go get great math instruction. Okay, You need a great math teacher. Don't try to just do this all on your own. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give you one last valuable tip. And we'll kind of squeeze it in over here. And that is to... Uh, on test and quizzes, okay, you need to um, uh, go over, uh, let's see, I'll put it this way, go over uh, weak areas, okay? I'll just leave it like this. Test and quizzes go over weak stuff. So when you get your test back or your quiz back, and let's say, you know, uh, on your test, you did everything great, but you you know, this part of the test, you're totally bombed. You're like, oh, I don't get that. Don't just like assume it's going to go away. Okay. What you need to do is go ask your teacher. I was, con I'm still confused about this part. Can you explain this to me or go find a teacher that I can explain it to you, but you just can't let it linger. The worst thing you can do is to be like, oh, I failed this test, but well, now there's a new chapter coming up and I'm going to do much, much better. Okay. Do not take that approach. All right. If you mess, if you don't do well, it's not the end of the world. Um, but you need to correct things. Okay. You can always kind of, you know, build your grade back up, but it takes again, work. It takes the right attitude, all this stuff. You know, I don't think, you know, most students in my experience aren't going to do super, super well in ex uh, Excel in a math course, unless they're doing all these things. If you take any one of these things out, it becomes much, much harder. If you're not neat and organized, if you're sloppy, well, your chances of getting an A plus go down dramatically. If you don't do your homework or all your homework and just do a little bit of it, you're definitely not going to get an A plus. If you're not taking notes, you're not, <laughs> you're not going to get an A plus. You're not working hard. You're not. If your mental attitude is like, I don't really care. Uh, if I just want to pass, you're not. Uh, if you don't ask questions, well, you know, maybe, maybe not. If you don't show all your steps, you're certainly not doing math in a proper way. If you don't have an excellent math teacher, this may not be something you can control you know, in terms of, hey, I wish I could switch teachers, but you need to take the responsibility to go find someone to help you, okay, like a program like mine, or go on to my YouTube videos, or someone else's, okay, but you're going to have to take that initiative, and then when it comes to test, if you don't, uh, you know, learn something from the feedback you get on test, especially weak uh, areas, well, you know, this is going to come back to haunt you, okay, so again, if you're not doing that, it's going to be very, very difficult to get an A+, plus. and that's what this video is about, okay, you can... You can lack some of those things and you can end up with a nice B or 78%. But the topic of this video is, do you want to excel? Okay, we're talking about, hey, do you want to be, you know, top notch and get a 99%, 100%, those type of grades? Because students do do that, okay, but they have to be doing all these things I just talked about. So hopefully this video motivates you uh, and you can kind of take an inventory of how well you're doing. But when it comes to the math instruction stuff, okay, uh, and if you like my teaching style, what I do on YouTube is kind of casual teaching. You know, I try to give a lot of value. But in my math help program, I go into full comprehension instruction. I go over all, all the type of common problems and a variety of problems that you're definitely going to be seeing in your respective courses. So if you like my teaching style, definitely check out my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.